Hampton, Maryland, a proud community located just outside of Baltimore and home to Cafe Hun, a restaurant whose name has special meaning to the local population. And what's your name, Hun? Hun is a term of endearment. When you're being friendly, that's what you say. You say Hun. Palmer people love the word Hun. It's their word, you know. Here, Hun. Opened by entrepreneur Denise Whiting in 1992, Cafe Hun quickly became a local landmark. Cafe Hun hugs you when you get here. It's just food, family, and fun. With her business doing well, Denise decided to capitalize on Baltimore's love affair with the word Hun. She not only trademarked Cafe Hun, but the word Hun as well. Denise wanted to make money. She wanted to sell her mugs, her t-shirts, her little knick-knack things, and it backfired. Denise Whiting, the owner of Cafe Hun, and she said she would go after anyone that uses the word Hun. Denise had Baltimore behind her, and then she announced that she trademarked Hun, and that ticked off a big portion of Baltimore. This thing gets fun in this crazy way. They lodge a boycott on the restaurant. I mean, now I'm the villain. I'm the bad person. <sighs> Since the whole Hun controversy, there has been a decline in business. It's, you know, dropped dramatically. Since all this has started, Denise has taken out her frustration on her staff. Oh, come on. Really? What is this supposed to be? She can be very harsh. I'm surprised that I have anyone left in the kitchen, to be honest with you. I want you to go downstairs, and I want you to give me a roll of paper towels that are perforated. There's one way to do it here my way. What's this, Johnny? Why is it sitting there? Is this for something? When we have somebody that's not able to lead us, we're serving terrible food, and it sucks. Just a heart to cut. Do you want any of my gristle? No. <laughs> it's pretty much been hell. She's not helping in the kitchen. She doesn't even know what she's doing. She's going to run us down to the ground, and if Chef Ramsay doesn't come in, we're screwed. We really are. I'm done. I'll go broke at this rate. It's not fair and it's not right that these anonymous people that are out there trashing your business and people are listening. Is this what I'm supposed to keep doing? Am I supposed to keep fighting for what I believe in, for what I've spent 20 years of my life just building? After learning of the Hunt scandal, Chef Ramsay stops by a local radio station hoping to get a better understanding as to why the community has turned its back on this restaurant. Today's best music, Mix 106.5. Have the best day ever. We'll see you tomorrow morning. It's JoJo and Reagan. All right, that's a wrap. Morning, guys. Hey, hi. hi. Hey, is this a good time? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Sure. How are you? I'm Reagan. Reagan, nice good to see you. Hi, JoJo. JoJo, good to see you. Yep. Hi, I'm uh, Sarah. Sarah, nice to see you good all. Good to meet you. Likewise, um, thanks for giving a couple of minutes of your valuable time. Um, absolutely. I'm dying to find out in terms of a reputation, Cafe Hon. How is the food, Reagan? Oh, well, I, I've only eaten there two or three times, but the food is uh, is on the back burner. Why? When you talk about Cafe Hun, talk about Denise Whiting. She had trademarked the term Hun, which is a cultural icon in Baltimore. I mean, it's it's a, a term of endearment. Locally. Uh, locally. It's huge in this community. I mean, it just it represents friendliness, this welcoming. Hun is a word that was in our vocabulary in Baltimore wow. long before it was part of a restaurant yeah. name. She went to a newspaper and said, I own it. I own the word. Locally, everyone's happy with the name of the restaurant, but they just weren't happy with her trying to own something that belonged to the town as opposed to her, I'm right? yeah. sure. She was threatening businesses with lawsuits. The lawsuits, I mean, it went that far. She had, had apparently, you know, thrown out some cease and desist letters to people who were using it. She demanded legal fees from somebody that was making tourist stuff with just the word Hun on it that didn't say Cafe Hun. Oh, dear. What's the feeling now? Has the business suffered on the back of that? The people who were most offended were the people in that immediate neighborhood. Yeah, I mean, she's almost become the anti Hun. Yes. Wow. Well, thank you for the insight. Yeah, I'm here to help turn that place around. Let's turn it around. Yeah, but it's yeah. going to be, let me say, we've got our work cut out <laughs> yeah. already. I haven't even been to the restaurant yet. I haven't even tasted the food yet. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you, Han. Good to see you, too. Good to see you. Good to see you. Likewise. Do you know how to find the restaurant? Big pink flamingo. You can't miss it.
So they get what? Like it's a, a big pink flamingo on the outside. Like a full size flamingo. flamingo. Oh, oh no. Full size. Uh, 60 feet or so? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> no, seriously. So look for a, a pink flamingo. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Take care. Russia with a flamingo. Holy mackerel. Look at the size of that thing. Wow. Are you serious? Look at that. Wow, 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 wow. Hey, how are you? Hello. Hello, Chef Ramsay. How are you? Welcome to Cafe Hunt. I'm Deborah Harris, manager. Deborah, nice to see you. What is that greasy? I just made a dessert. <laughs> Whipped cream. Whipped cream. Thank you for that. I'm sorry. Now, I was just so excited to see him. I didn't even think about washing the whipped cream off. How long have you been the manager? I have been here 13 years. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, you and I are going to talk later anyway. Yeah. Um, can, I, yes. can I meet the owner? Can I have a quick sure. word? Sure. Please. Thank you. Then I need Denise. They're waiting for you. You're waiting for me? Oh, yes. Oh, OK. Oh, this must be. I'd like you to meet Chef Ramsay. How are you? I'm <laughs> great. Nice to see you. Very nice to see you. Um, let's go somewhere quiet, shall we? Okay, and catch sure, up. And sure. Spend a couple of minutes. Okay. Denise is going to not. She's not going to be herself. I believe she's going to pretend to be that perfect little darling. And I hope that Gordon Ramsay really can see through any facade she will put up. You look unhappy. Mm -hmm. Come on. I know. Why? I why know. are you upset? <laughs> I mean, business. Pretty much was half of what it was last year. I've taken everything I had and put it in here. I mean, I completely evaporated my small IRA that I had. I sold a house. Everything's gone into here. My last 10,000 went in two weeks ago. Oh my God. I just didn't know what to do anymore. So, what happened? How did it start going badly? The problem is, I federally registered the Han as a as a trademark right. uh, years ago. Somebody picks up that I federally registered Han and starts saying that I have stolen something from the city of Baltimore. Right. The newspapers, radio, television, they belittled, demeaned. I have people scream at me from across the street, just horrible things. It's got that bad. Oh yeah. I mean, I was afraid for my life. You felt that threatened? Yeah. For yeah. your life? Yeah. What, death threats? Well, people wishing me dead. Why would they want to be so vicious to you? If they don't know me. I find it hard to believe that it's just because you registered the word hun and you've done nothing else. Nothing else. There's nothing else that managed to piss off anybody else. I'm, I'm not aware of anything else I've done. Did you not sue anyone? I never sued anybody. You didn't sue anybody? No. Did you threaten to sue anybody? No. I've done my homework before I got here. I did. I. You know See, what? you're not being fair now. Well, I did a cease and desist. You did. I did. Enforce a legal letter threatening to sue someone using that. Now, you've been very devious. Um, you know. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it, but I'm not going to extract blood out of the stone. I want to work with you, but it makes it very different for me when you don't tell me the truth. After being disappointed by Denise's cover-up of the PR problems at Cafe Hunt, time for lunch. Gordon can now begin to focus on the food. Thank you. Hello. Hello, Chef. And this is... Hi, I'm Janet. Janet, nice to see you, darling. How long have you been here? Almost 20 years. 20 years, wow. And this is... Hi, Lynn. Lynn, nice to see you, darling. How long have you been here? Eight years. Wow. Look at you. Lindsay. And this is... Amanda. Amanda, love the hair. Thank Beautiful. you. Beautiful. <laughs> nice to see you. I do this myself in the bathroom. Wow, wow, wow. The key is hairspray. Hairspray, hairspray, hairspray. Excellent. Enjoy your night. Thank you very much indeed. Wow. Oof. Amanda? Sorry, darling. Yes, Chef. Two seconds. Who is that on the front cover there? That's Denise. That, is that Denise? Yes, that's Denise looking wonderful. <laughs> looking wonderful? Wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Denise thinks that she's a rock star. And everything's just in your face, Denise. Um, right, what would you recommend? The Big Bay Club. It has our shrimp salad and crab mm -hmm. cake. Well, let's start off with that, shall we? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'll go for the much better the moms. Much better than moms, you know. 
as in better than mum's at home. Better than your own mum. Yeah. Wow. Okay, great. What else? So I've got to go for the bomber. Fish and chips. It's bomber. 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 Ball. Balmer. So it's something like Baltimore. Oh, so you're okay. saying it quickly. Balmer. Bomber. <laughs> it's Balmerese. Balinese. Balmerese. Oh, Balmerese, right. Say the word Balmer. Bomber. Yes. Thank you, Hon. Ho. Hun. Hon. Hun. Hon. Hon. Hun. 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 Short for honey. Honey. Love it. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you, Hon. Hun. 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 Fish and chips, Caleb. Okay. Now it's in the kitchen, series. Okay, and that's for Chef. All right, let's go. All right, we can go on the big bag. You know, I used to just say, you know, serve good food and the people will come. This is what it should always taste like. This is perfect. Well, we continue to serve good food, but the people don't come. Big bag? Is that my big bag? Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you taking that or you want me to take it? Go ahead. Tower of seafood. Holy mackerel. Big bag club. What's in there? This is a layer of shrimp salad, mm -hmm. a layer of warm crab cake, mm -hmm. bacon, and lettuce and tomato. Thank you. How the hell do you start eating sandwich this wide? Uh, I mean, honestly, squash a little down. I surrender. I have to break it down. Deconstruct it. Mm, wow. The crab is delicious. It's a very pleasant surprise, let me tell you. Got this nice layer of crab, and then these stone-cold shrimp. Underneath, horrible. Amanda? Oh, gross. This bit here, I mean, they, they taste like they're a week old. Do you mind? God, they're ghastly. Taste of the fridge. Mm, it does have a weird aftertaste. That's, that's horrible, that aftertaste. Mm -hmm. They almost taste like they're tainted. Yeah. That's a mess. I'll leave that one, darling. Yes, chef. They said the, uh, said the shrimp tastes, that they had like a weird aftertaste to it, like almost tastes like really? the refrigerator. What's the matter? Hmm. He said they taste like they're old. A lot of the menu items are crap. It's Denise's recipes. It's the way she wants it done. I don't, I don't understand. This is perfect. Denise never thinks she's wrong. This is perfect. And that's her biggest downfall. You got fries for me? Crispy, please? It's a little dark. Nope. Denise? It's a little dark. It's good enough. Are we happy with this? I'm taking this, Denise. Let's take it. Denise does what Denise wants to do. And she won't listen to me. She won't listen to anyone else. No, I should have gone out like that. It's aggravating. English style fish and chips. Wow, English style. Yeah. Holy mackerel. House cut fries from fresh potatoes. And what kind of fish is it? Uh, codfish. Codfish. Mm -hmm. Wow. Is it me or is everything just greasy? No? Yeah. OK, great. Thank you, Diane. Hey, Jeff. Thank you. <clears throat> Horrible. Fries are not even crispy, they're just full of fat. All the batter's soggy. It doesn't even stick to the fish. It's dreadful. What a shame. Amanda? It's dry. Fish is dry? Well, the whole batter just sort of it's almost like peels away from it. Those fries, what a shame. You don't like the fries? Well, it's just all soggy. Look at my fingers. Yeah. We have fish and chips. And the tastiest thing on the plate is the tartar sauce. It's a big disappointment. I love fish and chips. What a shame. Wow. Sorry, Chef. The cooks are doing the best that they can with the way they've been told to do things. So it's Nisa's fault. What's wrong? Greasy fish, fry, the batter's just falling off of it. And instead, the fries, they were mushy. Really? That's weird. And he squeezed it, and all this like grease was all over his hand. French fries. You know, you get some potatoes that are one way and some potatoes that are another way. I'm mean, having a problem with the consistency of the potatoes. I mean, it's just making me crazy. Right. Do you have the meat loaf? Coming off. Like now. Thanks, Liz. Sure. <laughs> Jeez. And this one is? And the meatloaf. Thank you. Much better than mom's meatloaf. That is a very bold statement. Thank you. Thanks, sure. It's like a flamingo turd just landed on my plate. Rocky's raw. That's dreadful. What a shame. Damn. Chef? 
Damn, that was disappointing. It's the mm. actual flavour uh, of the meatloaf. meatloaf. Yeah, and the uh, demi glace is just mm. so thick. Sometimes it can be runny. Today it's actually thick. Well, it's just marred everything like a big, thick varnish that just tastes yeah. like nothing. Whose recipe is this? Um, I believe it's Denise's. Denise's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Better than Mum's meatloaf. Thank God my Mum's not joining me for lunch today. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Yes, sir. Wow. And will you ask someone to taste that broccoli? The broccoli's soft. I will. Yes. And the yes, mesh chef. is cold. Yes, chef. Okay, he wants you to try the broccoli, so the broccoli is almost raw. <laughs> the mash is cold and the demi-glaze is too thick. And okay. the meatloaf is bland. Okay. Every time he had a comment or a criticism, it's pretty ridiculous. I've been here for 20 years. I had to have done something right. Maybe he's not the answer. Are we done? Um, I go through the kitchen and go and say hello and meet everybody. Hi, guys. Hello. Oh, hello, Chef Lindsay. Uh, this is Greg. Greg, I'm Tisha. You work under Denise. Yes. yes. Do you think she's going to listen to anything he says? I hope so. I don't think she will. She might snap, freak out like the <laughs> yeah. wicked witch. This is a comfort food restaurant, right? Yes. And when I think of comfort food, I think of meatloaf and other excitement. That's bland. And the Big Bay seafood sandwich, crab, delicious, but underneath you've got these stone cold shrimp. It's horrible aftertaste. Fish and chips, the fish is overcooked, the batter is just falling off it. And you hand cut those fries. Yes. They're cooked dreadfully. Do you season them and taste them before they go out? We do not season the fries. You don't season the fries? No, we don't. Is this you? Yeah. But you told them they can't season the fry. Fast food joints season fries, for God's sake. Does no one care? I mean, there's not much to say, you know. It's the, what we have. It's the menu that we have laid out, and it's the you recipes. Do better. We can. Do you enjoy cooking this? I don't enjoy cooking our menu food. It's, it's dull. I mean, when we do try to change things, you know, it's always, oh, I don't like it like this. You know, we. Who like, doesn't like it? Denise. So you're telling me you can do better than what's on the menu? Yeah. I thought the problems were on the outside. You've got them on the inside and the outside. Combine both, and I'm amazed you're still open. I know that we have a good product, and I'm not going to let anybody get in my way, including Chef Ramsay. After discovering that Denise's food might be as bad as Cafe Hun's PR, fucking flamingo, Chef Ramsay is anxious to see how the kitchen handles a busy dining room. Do this. Tonight. Word has spread that Chef Ramsay is in Baltimore, and the dining room is full for the first time in a year. You got fish and chips working? And the kitchen is now dealing with a flood of orders. Got asparagus for that, and I can get it out of your hair. Yeah. Let's start falling to the table. Let's get there. Mac and cheese. All right, can you fix that asparagus so it's all nice and neat? You know, I got three steaks sitting here. I really don't care, Greg. When Denise comes in in her chef clothes, it's like having a hurricane in there. She just goes hectic and, you know, you know, oh, I want this done now, I want it done this way. All right, I want everybody's attention. Can I have everybody's attention? Debbie, I need your attention. Hello? Yes. This is asparagus, all right? I'm tired of seeing the asparagus dumped in a bin all different kinds of ways. You know, you start with the small things. We always get little lessons from Denise, and it's frustrating because you just can't stop. Then everything backs up, and it's, it's, it just causes a lot of problems. You cut off the ends, oh and you blanch them. You hold the asparagus and see where they break at, so you know where to cut them. That's how it's OK. Them. All right, Ray, table one. You've been waiting a long time. I really, really Every guy has been waiting a long time. I don't have time to stand around and watch her do this when I have other you know jobs to do. I feel like I'm on the Titanic. I need that crab to pump for 22. Take this to 57. Despite Denise slowing down her kitchen with an asparagus lesson. All right, I'm taking the ab for 17. And that plate is very hot. And then your wings will be right out. Some of the dishes still manage to make their way out to the diners. There's a pool of grease underneath the chicken. Cafeteria would be the way I would describe <laughs> it. There is like a hair. I can't believe there's a hair. The turkey's just like crumbling apart. It doesn't really taste at all. What's wrong with that? Overcooked, and they said that looked like mush. What is that? Turkey was stuffing. They did not like this. I'm getting something oh else. Oh, my God. All 
right, this turkey, we're not serving it anymore. 86 the turkey. Any turkey on the board, 86 the turkey. I asked for medium, didn't I? Yes, you did. OK, I'll get it medium. Table five wanted a medium steak. What's wrong? It's a well. Five wanted medium, this is well. Yeah, have medium, Mitch. Give me those steaks. I don't want to use those steaks. Give me. Fuck it, give we me, don't have table 52. Give me all those steaks. Put them in there. Please alert all servers that we have no steaks. None of my orders I have no steaks for. Are you serious? Yes. Took the ones we had, threw them out. Threw them out. All this? He threw them all out. That's, that's the whole table. Denise threw them out. There's nothing I can do. Table 52. Denise yeah. threw them out. This is something that Denise normally does, 86 and things. 86 biscuits, you guys. They don't like it. 86 the pot pie. 86 the catfish. Instead of fixing an entree, in the moment, she pulls the entire food item from service. 86 Where? the steak. We don't have steak, OK? We don't have to redo everything. Oh, yes. my god. This shit clean. Oh, my god. I swear to God. You guys, 86 the french fries. Oh, my god. Wow. Fish and chips without the chips. We need to find out about all the tables that have french fries on their tickets that are not getting french fries. We are out of fries for the fish and chips. What would you like? Sweet 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 chips? Chips? Yeah. 86 is sweet fries. 86 sweet fries. Oh my God. We have nothing to serve after 86 every menu item. Die. Why are we 86 in the sweet fries? 86 sweet potato fries and we got the motherfuckers cooking. I don't get it. I'm just, not, I'm in pain here. Thank you. Oh, my God. OK, as my nightmare continues, we're out of sweet potato fries. Out of sweet potato fries? Yeah. Denise kept pulling stuff. When I'd have to walk to the table and tell him he, the food's not there. I can only apologize so many times to somebody. I'm embarrassed by it. Want a hug? No. Oh. Oh. As the menu items keep dwindling. Folks, we're out of pot pie. I'll take it off your check, honey. I apologize. The diner's patience is dwindling as well. What about these? They left. They left? I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen anything no. so dysfunctional. I... I've never seen a kitchen work. So backwards. You can't keep customers waiting an hour for food and then 86s. Find out the total amount that we can't find. I will, you, I will. Thank yes. you. Oh, Jesus. Uh, what the fuck was all that about? It's a ship channel. Honestly? Yeah. And is she always like that? Yes. How do you concentrate like that you, in service? You can't. I mean, you really can't. Why I mean, was she 86 and everything in the middle of I, service? I could not tell you. I've got 601 in boys and 150 almost in discounts. So that's $750 total. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that is ridiculous. It is. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Jeff. Crazy. Gordon Ramsay has got to get through her thick skull. If she doesn't take his advice, we're not going to make it. I don't know where to start. I mean, I just, you know, I, I, that was a disaster. Do you know, we comped $800 worth of food. OK. You stop the team in the middle of service and show them how to put asparagus on the plate? We're focusing in all the wrong areas. How can you let it go this far? How can and somehow you... I got, I got derailed. If I can simplify the menu down to something that's really manageable and we just do wonderfully simple, delicious comfort food. Okay, listen, I've got to stop you there, because uh, I... I uh... You're confusing me. Before you can talk about anything else, you've got to get the basics, right? You've got to get the core, the foundation. Because I think you've lost the plot. Okay. I... You, you, you need to sit down and have a think. Because what this restaurant hasn't got is a clear direction. And restaurants run from the top. It starts from the top. And when the leader's gone, the restaurant's gone. I, I, I don't know where to start. I'm sorry. Jeez. Can we get these mats out of here? Clearly, Denise is in denial about how she mismanages the restaurant. Take a seat, please. So this morning, Chef Ramsay decides to pull together a staff meeting before she arrives. OK. Right, that was a tough one yesterday, yes? Yes. yes. yes chef. And the only way we are 
ever going to move forward is if we get out in the open. What's bothering you in the way that Denise is running the restaurant? Basically, when she's not here, it runs quite smooth. But when she comes in... The whole morale of the uh, restaurant just drops. She doesn't even have to say anything, but we know something's going to happen. We're afraid of what she's going to do. It's awful how she talks to the people. She goes up to one of the girls and tells them they're stupid, or she gets up to my face, tell her to fix her hair. You put a flower in your hair. That's why the customers aren't coming in, because you want to put a flower in your hair. She's getting too carried away. She focuses on a lot of the superficial things. She micromanages. It's insane. I mean, really insane. Last night, she went 86 crazy, right? Yeah. Nearly a dozen items. 86, the fish and chips, uh, 86, the beef. Is this normal? Yes. She doesn't take responsibility for anything. So why aren't we standing up to her? We're all afraid to tell her anything negative. She'll fire them. She'll fire them. Oh, she'll yeah. fire them? She told a couple of us, if you say negative things, I don't need you with me. I appreciate your honesty. However, you need to get that message across that Denise, you've got to start standing up for what's right. And I want you all to do that. Right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're all gonna get fired right now. This morning, Chef Ramsay has heard an array of grievances about Denise. She's getting too carried away. We're all afraid to tell her anything negative. He knows full well that for this restaurant to move forward, the staff needs to come clean with their boss. Oh my god. Denise is coming. We're all gonna get fired right now. Come over, please. Uh, right, I saw a lot yesterday and I wanted to catch up with the team. And some of the crap they've had to endure and tolerate is actually quite horrific. I'm amazed that they're still here. I'm now going to ask them to open up and be honest with you. I didn't think we were going to have to tell her to her face what we thought. Debbie, please. Denise, you, um... You're a rude bitch. And I'm tired of it. I feel like I don't even know you anymore. You're just too mean with the, with the employees. You're talking to them like shit. Denise, you're the negative in the restaurant. You make me feel like I'm not good enough. Denise, I feel very unappreciated. I do anything you ask me, and you come in and scream at me. What is going on? Do you not trust me? Oh, Janet, I trust you. How do I know this? Unless you tell me. Well, thank you, Donna. Greg, please. Oh, it's, you're coming in, you're screaming, you're a hindrance on the lawn, you're a hindrance, you know, in the prep. You're controlling everything, and yet you've got a brigade front and back of house that are loyal and hardworking and can get the job done. Denise, your ego is huge, and you think because you're Denise Whiting. You can do anything. You have to stop feeling sorry for yourself, that nobody likes you. We've already established that. People don't like you. It is tough love. But this is so important. Debbie, what's the matter? Um, I'm just afraid about this place going up, out of business. After all I've put them through, I'm just so humbled and so grateful that they're still with me. To lose this business would be for me to lose my soul. And I appreciate everything that everybody does here. I love each and every one of you. I've just been off. And I know that. I know I've come into the kitchen and I've been difficult. I'm sorry that I've been a bit overbearing. I'm gonna step back and let everybody do what they do so well. And I can only say that this is the beginning of a new day. She seems sincere now, but I'm a little doubtful about what she's going to do as far as changing. Very doubtful, in a way. 
sad to say. Thank you. Now that Denise has recognized the morale problems of her restaurant, Hi, ladies. Chef Ramsey knows that he needs her to fully understand why the community continues to be upset with her. I put together a select group of people that I'd like you to hear from. OK. OK? Please, jump in the car. Headsets on. Listen carefully, and I'll come back. Oh, my god, these people, they're going to crucify me. I'm going to be thrown to the wolves. Now, there's been some issues and some turmoil, and I would like to take this moment for you to help me to understand why Kathy Hun and its owner, Denise, have angered this community. Who would like to go first? What she really tried to do was appropriate an identity. It's like going to Australia and trademarking mate or y'all in the South. She's acting like a bully. Why is she a bully? Anybody who would like to use the word is at risk of receiving a cease and desist order uh, from her lawyers that says, change your name or else. And I have a website called Welcome to Baltimore Hun. A cease and desist letter that she sent. Wow, I mean, that's pretty severe. It transcends the restaurant industry. She had gone to the Maryland Transit Administration for their Hun ad campaign and forced them to give her creative control. Basically, the Maryland state government has to go to Denise Whiting for her approval. Do you remember what that? Legally, she has the standing, but she's not in the right. No. And that's what people recognize. Yeah. It's just about money for her. It's not about Hamden. It's not about anything. It's just money. She pushes everyone around. She's focused on Denise Whiting. And if you don't like it, you're going to be sorry. I have seen her nasty. She's made a mockery of who we are and then tried to profit from it, and I think that's very egregious. The damage is done. All the citizens of Baltimore were the ones that stopped going. They are not going to go use that restaurant. No way, ever. What would it take for this community to embrace Kathy Hun again? She has to walk away from the, tra the trademark. She has to abandon it. <laughs> she has to abandon it. She to it. Get Say it, it was a mistake. She does not own it. It doesn't belong to anybody. Right. I'm very grateful for your insight. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. How do you feel about what they said? It was a... Uh, Eye opener? Yeah. I didn't get it before. I was just so angry at all the things that were happening and didn't know how to handle them, and I was in denial. I get it now. That's hard in there. There's so much hate. What? Directed in, in, in my direction, there but was no... you did no... go after a few people. You did send letters where they were absolutely freaking out to sort of stand up against. But when you threaten people, or they feel threatened, they're going to revolt. Do you realise you've made a mistake? Yes. You have to do something. You have to take responsibility and make a gesture. Do you agree? I absolutely agree. You're not just saying that because I'm here. Oh, God, no. You know, yeah, we've got a big issue here, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and it's not me you have to convince, it's the city of Baltimore. Everything in my life has been a disaster in the last several months, and I'm the only one that can change that. However, I don't, I don't really know what I'll do. It appears as though Denise has seen the error of her ways, and so Chef Ramsay decides to go ahead with the renovation of Cafe Hunt. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, morning. Chef. Nice to see you. Today is the beginning of a new era. Are you ready to see your new restaurant? Yes. 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 Welcome to New Cafe Hunt. Jump in, please. Oh my God. That is <laughs> gorgeous. Look at this beauty. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. I always wanted the wall pink. I always wanted boxes for the teapots. <laughs> always, always. Gorgeous. Gone are those hideous colors. Now we have a consistent, bright vibrance in the local restaurant. <sighs> Let's look at the huge, stunning artwork. That is a tribute to Hun. Glamorous, gorgeous, and something that belongs to the restaurant. Let's get that right. I love it. 
It's simple, it's elegant, and it's clean. Everything just kind of blends together so perfectly. I really feel like we have a future in Hamden. Can't help but love it. <laughs> Welcome to the Flamingo Room. Wow. Oh, this is so adorable. Oh is this a party room or what? Look at this chandelier. What do you think? <laughs> Come on. Oh, we love it. I am so happy. It's like the sun came up over the Cafe Hun on a gorgeous day. It's going to be better. It's going to be Thank better you. than it's going Thank you. With everyone clearly overjoyed about the physical changes to the restaurant. Take a little line up. Have a look oh at this amazing God. food. Chef Ramsay is now ready to unveil the revamped menu. OK, let's start off from the top, shall we? Hunt's chili, beef, tomatoes, onions, peppers, cheese, serve with some cornbread. Corn Traditional bread. and classic. Hun's hot crab dip. So this one's done with Maryland crabs. It's gorgeous. Next to that, you've got the mini shrimp and crab rolls. Delicious. And the entrees, obviously the Maryland crab cake. This one's going to fly out the door. Thank you. Oh, yes. I love you for that. Next to that, classic fish and chips. Crispy, delicious. There is no soggy batter there, let me tell you. Absolutely beautiful. Amazing. Next to that, you've got a delicious meatloaf wrapped in bacon, so with mashed potatoes, green beans, and obviously ketchup. Oh, that's beautiful. Yummy. Better is so much better. Get a knife and fork and dig in, dig in, dig in. Amen. Oh, my God. Mmm. That's delicious. Really good. This is so perfect. This is better than I thought it could ever be. We could never have done this on our own. Fries are great. Mm -hmm. Don't you feel better? That's yeah. all streamlined. We're serving a brand new menu. It's just really simpler, but it's better food, and it looks better, so. We're all psyched to serve it. It's going to be fun. Oh, my God. Isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. I'm having a mouth party. <laughs> <laughs> now that the restaurant and menu have been vastly improved, Chef Ramsay knows that it is critical that Denise reach out to the community, and so he has made arrangements for her to do just that. This is an amazing opportunity. We're about to go live. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. All Good right. luck. You may or may not have known Gordon Ramsay's been filming here in town over the weekend. We've heard that he's bringing Denise Whiting, the owner of Cafe Hun, with him, and that they're going to make an announcement of some sort on our show, and they just walked into the studio. Hello. Good morning. Hello, Gordon. How are you? Very well, Dee. Thank you. It's been a busy couple of days for you, we're sure. Very busy. Uh, yeah, we've uh, yeah, we've gone to hell and back. It's been a tough week. I'm going to hand you over to Denise. She's obviously very excited to be here. I just want to say, trademarking the word is not only almost killed me, but has just about killed the business. I didn't understand the whole culture and how passionate everybody was about, you know, Hun is in our hearts, and now I get it. I was just doing what business people do, and it was a misstep. I am so sorry for the animosity and the hatred and everything that trademarking a word, just a word, has done. Please forgive me. That must have taken a lot of courage to, to say that. But you never said you were going to give the trademark back. Is that what you're doing? You mean actually physically handing over the trademark? Yeah, yeah. Will you be handing it back? Do I want to do this? Maybe I don't. After alienating the entire city of Baltimore, Denise has an opportunity to make amends. You never said you were going to give the trademark back. Is that what you're doing? You mean actually physically handing over the trademark? Yeah, yeah. Will you be handing it back? Yes. Wow. This is amazing. I am taking that piece of paper that says it's registered. I'll get it from my attorney. I'll take it off the register. I can do that. That's that's <laughs> that's kind of stunning. This is for real. It was never mine to have in the first place. It's just a word. It's just wonderful to have this opportunity to be here to get. <sighs> I get a second chance. Please forgive me um, for everything that I've done. Denise, I got to be honest with you. I wasn't on your side over the last year. I'm on your side now. Thank you guys. Thank you, Gordon, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. This is an incredible opportunity that I've been handed, and I'm not going to take it for granted. All right, well, thank both of you for coming in this morning. Appreciate it. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Maria's coming up next. It's 10 o'clock. Immediately following Denise's announcement on the radio, 
Chef Ramsay arranged for a press conference to make sure that everyone in Baltimore understands that Denise is giving up the trademark of the word hunt. I didn't mean to, to steal something or to take something, and I apologize. For the remainder of his stay, Gordon and his team got in the trenches with Chef Greg and his staff. Work as a team, work as a team. Where he implemented a new system. For me, it doesn't even look hot enough. Stone cold, come on, back in. And as Cafe Hun became a fun place to work at once again. Guys, you're doing a great job. You're doing awesome. John, thank you. Dottie, beautiful. The people of Baltimore returned. I appreciate your saying thank you, and I really want you to do well. And the business is clearly headed in a positive direction. These are fantastic. A lot better than the old stuff. This thing is off the champion. Touchdown. <laughs> Chef Ramsay took a lost owner and put her back on the road to success. And nobody realizes that more than Denise Whiting. With all the odds stacked against you, you pulled it off. I feel amazing. I've been given a gift, a great gift, and an amazing opportunity, and I will be forever grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A bloody tough thank week. You. I have my life back. I have my restaurant back. Thank you, Gordon Ramsay. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, everybody. Bye. 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 See ya. Thank you, guys. Wow. Good night, hon.